So, good morning, good morning. Today's our first full day in... Mazbate. Well, actually, we were here yesterday, but the weather wasn't so good, so... Yeah, it's our second day. And we got ready, we was ready to roll, we were like, yeah, let's go on a trip. And then the sky was like, mm, I've got other plans for you. Mm. Get back in there and I do a video. So if you haven't already seen it, guys, I edited my second legit video for the channel yesterday and I put it up. Obviously, it was a while ago now when you see this, but it was the thank you from Coaching Uncharted for hitting a thousand. And we woke up today with a 1.1, so that was a bonus. <laughs> if you haven't already seen it, go and let me know what you think of my Edison skills. I think you've done pretty well. Thanks. Welcome. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's a good start to the morning. Hopefully, it stays that way. Oh, look at your cucumbers. The food has just arrived. And Cody's got the same. Hungry? Stop. Enjoy. So, there's yeah. this fly apparently. One chill, Brecky. Mm. Got a wiggle on the fan, Joe. Oh, good way. Are we going to the place called Bun Todd? Called what? Bun Todd. Today we're going to a place called mm. Bun Todd. Mm. I'm nice and early today, trying to make the good weather. Crack of dawn. Mm. Oops, thanks. Watch the straps. We woke up at the crack of dawn. I'm sick of the crack of dawn to be honest. I just want to lie in but I can't because my body clock's like, wake up! Mm. I'm tired all the time. We're ready for the day and we're going to Bun Todd Reef Discovery. Buxayon Marine Sanctuary. Hopefully the weather holds up for us. Yeah, there's a grey cloud over there. Over there. And we're hoping that they're going in that direction. We have been here, like we said earlier, for this is our second day and yesterday it rained and there's massive puddles in the roads. And we hope that the rain stays away at least until we've finished our trip and then you can rain as much as you like until tomorrow. <laughs> and then you've got to stop again <laughs> so that we've got something to do. We've paid for our accommodation until tomorrow. We paid 1700 Come here. We paid 1700 a night, which is a lot more than what we've been paying anywhere else. But it's really cheap to be here. It's kind of like that balance. Um, as Batty says, he doesn't have a lot of accommodation options online. And the options... Oh, we've got another one coming, I don't know. pretty pricey for the fact that we're here so we've got to probably move tomorrow we'll have a little look around and see but if not this is a nice place to stay so we'll show you all around later when we get back i can hear the silence as i'm walking by everyone's so quiet i know the reason why i'm not gonna hide it I'm not gonna lie, I know you can see it What you got yourself into What you got yourself into Oh, well, it's waiting for a boat now It's got a wonky bun after that tricycle ride <laughs> yeah, that, that, What is going on with, with that thing? It's all over the place No, it's nice and neat right in the middle and it looked really quite good this morning and then the tricycle man just was like I don't miss their weaver <laughs> we are the Trice Command brought us down Derelict Road, dropped us off for 50 pesos and was like have a good day. And then Chris went, Can we get a boat from here? And everyone started laughing and I was thinking, I hope so, because if not, then yeah. what are we doing here? <laughs> so there's some little cottages on the water over there. We're just sitting at a table and everyone's just kind of Chilling. relaxed <laughs> and we're just sitting here like, okay, what the hell? I'm not really sure what we're waiting for, but we got told to wait, so we're waiting. So our boat's arrived. Our little mobile for the for the day. Mobile? Yeah. Fancy word, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. People call things that move you a mobile. Question is, can you get into this boat graciously? Or are you gonna trip, I slip? Can. And, look, you can't even walk down the stairs. Oh my god. Of course I can. Watch this. Are you ready? <laughs> Watch this absolute elegance. I see if she can do it. 
course. Pressure's on. Everyone's watching. The world can see. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I want a new cordo. I'm in. Oh, I'm dry. Hey. I'm in and I'm dry. That's a bonus, yeah, isn't it? That's good for you. Come and say something. I want to hear your voice. Give it all or nothing. I'm always getting lost. Ain't no time to stop it. So show me what you need. I know that you want it. But what you got yourself. Yeah, I think so. Ah. Yeah, done. Done. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Nice. Now this. Ah, that feels good. Move. That feels good. So we've got the whole of Bantod to ourselves because we came nice and early and it's a weekday. Winning. Best thing to do when you're coming to these tours is to come early as you can and make it a weekday because all the local tourists will, will come on the weekend when it's their, their day off so winning winning right now this place is unreal can't believe we've got it all to ourselves because um because we're real youtubers now we get a private island remember <laughs> oh yeah because we've got one <laughs> one thousand subs now plus Everyone's like, yeah, you can have the island for free, it's fine. No problem. Well, not quite for free, like we paid for it. We paid for the island. Not well, the whole island. We paid we for the tour, the but not, not the island. We paid for the boat to take us to the island. So, just in case you want to come, we're staying at Ranchel Beach Resort. And from there, we got a tricycle outside. And they took us to the, the I think it's called a barren guy. If I'm wrong, they took us to the place where you get the boat. Um, it costs 50 pesos on the tricycle and then when you go there they just say sit down and then everyone sits down no one does anything for 20 minutes and then mm. you realize it's because somebody's already rung the boatman from the island to come and get you they'll bring you over and then when you get here you pay 500 for the boat and then you pay 20 peso each for the entrance fee and the place is called Buntod Sandbar and you're welcome mm. oh, this is nice man I think this is like probably one of the best sandbars that we've been to that I can remember this this trip anyway. We've been to quite a few sandbars but I think this one's the most the most nicest, cleanest. Look at this water. Ah, uh, it was just unreal. Pristine. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Masbati looks very nice so far. I think um Masbati is I think you say Masbati like that. It's a very underrated. It's not a tourism spot yet, I think. It, when we were driving around it in the tricycle yesterday because we didn't do anything yesterday we just went and got all of our washing done because we stunk and when you're driving around in the tricycle you pay exactly what everyone else pays you don't have to ask or barter with the tricycle men they just say how much do you want to pay but we asked the reception how much should we pay and they said for local transport it's 10 pesos a person and when you're driving around in the tricycle it literally just looks like I was thinking, this is what the Philippines looked like before any tourists came. Masbati City is the perfect example of, of Philippines before tourism. Mm. And it's so chilled out, it's so calm, everyone's doing their day-to-day -day life and routine. There's little, little businesses, there's like the animals running around, there's the, sh the street huts like with the shops inside. And it's just, it's got a lot of character, but it's really chilled out. So I know it's a city, but it really doesn't feel like busy, stressed out vibes like most cities do. So it's actually really nice. It's very underrated. I haven't seen one tourist other than obviously like foreigners who have got Filipino like wives or girlfriends. I haven't seen one tourist. And I love having the whole place to myself. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> that is picture perfect to me. Crystal clear water, very calm, barely any waves very nice and look at the sand it's just pure this is a very 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 pristine beach and i've heard that this isn't even the best of masbati either so there should be better places cody showing off again as usual some cream in so there. vain <laughs> what you got yourself into Oh
guys so we are back on the move now we've been just chilling out on this sound bar for about the last three hours but I think it's time to move now and go over to the mangrove I think we can walk around the mangrove area so let's take a little tour around the mangrove see what that looks like had to fight Cody to get off the beach because she just wants to bask in the Sun all day but let's go and have a little look shall we let's roll oh and then you let's go and see what's in this mangrove shall we a muscle woman like I got, this. got the tripod there got a bag on got the shoes in her hand boss oh man this place strong independent woman I don't need no man hey this place is so nice <laughs> this place is gorgeous the sand is so super fine it's not dirty there's no rubbish anywhere other than just little dead coconuts that have washed up the water is crystal clear. It's, you can, you don't even need snorkels. You can see absolutely everything. It's so beautiful. If you haven't been to Masbai and you're looking for somewhere to go, highly recommended. We've only been to one place. Mm -hmm. We love it already. It's yeah. gorgeous. 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 Hi. Alright, let's go and have a look. I think you can kayak around the island, I think. Could be a good idea. Maybe. Oh, these are the mangroves. I'm just going to see how far we can walk through and see what it's all about. Hmm. These are some strange things, mangroves. But they do so much good for the ecosystem. It's just weird. I mean, it's just a weird looking tree. Also, you've got two sort of like chill areas or decks out in the water. Nice place to come and just relax. I just said exactly the same thing. That's funny looking little trees, aren't they? They are weird looking, but they, like they do. You. Like me, <laughs> like you. <laughs> I'm gorge. But they do so much good. They do. Apparently, um, there is a what's the word a government incentive 
um, in Gimaras. I don't know if they do this all over the Philippines, but in Gimaras they have a government incentive where they're trying to encourage people if they give you a seed for the mangroves, if you plant it, nurture it, look after it, make sure it grows, then you get paid per, per grown mangrove tree because they protect the land from the tsunamis and from the typhoons and stuff like it, it creates less damage uh, by having them there so they're trying to build more of them around the coasts of the, of the islands uh, so that'll be interesting if anyone knows anything about that then let us know because we were quite interested about that and I thought that that was a really good incentive that it encourages people to actually look after the nature around them for the, for the good of of the land so I was quite impressed let us know if you know anything about that. We want to know more. What you got? These mangrove seeds now I can't remember 100% but if I'm not mistaken this is the female seedling and these two are male seedlings so I'm, I'm sure from our mangrove tour at Port Princess or Underground River that the bigger ones are the females and the small ones are the males and they are so they, I think they are alive for a really long time after they fall from the branches to give them a better chance of planting and they're long and pointy so that they should it's not going to happen but when you drop it it should just land in the sand and plant mm. I didn't think it would happen not like that though not like that but it's meant to go whoosh, and plant and then it becomes these marvellous things. Mm -hmm. So maybe I'll plant them. So that was our little bit of a mangrove tour on the go. Now we're going to go back up to this hut. I'm going to get some drink because it is absolutely boiling right now. Uh, I know it doesn't look like it on the video, but it is unreal hot. At least 31, 32. So let's have a little break from the sun for a bit and then see what we're going to do after. Come on, you, you go first. Uh, elegance. Hello. And grace. <laughs> yeah, don't trip, bust up your lip. <laughs> okay. What a job. What a job. Yeah, ideal job is it? <sighs> you know, what a dream. His dream is to be a tricycle driver. My dream is to have, have a banker and go to Buntod sandbar on Every a daily day. Yeah. and just play cards and and sleep because you know I'm good at sleeping. So I quit. <laughs> That was some right, high pitch, thank you. Do you this. Like you? Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, back on dry land. Now we've got to find a tricycle. Waiting for a tricycle. And I spotted the ice cream man. Yeah. yeah. So Chris has come to get us an ice cream. That is the cutest thing in the world. I love this place. Kind of makes me feel like I've gone back in time being in Masbati. Here we go. Mm. What have you got? Two ice creams and baling hoi. What's that? I don't know. What is it called? Baling hoi. Oh. 
So let me just tell you this. I try to tip the ice cream man 10 pesos. No. So the ice creams were five peso each and I gave him 20 just for a 10 peso tip. And he said, no, he wouldn't. He put the money back in my hand. Really? He actually put the money back in my hand. I said, oh, that's okay. And he went, okay, okay, have this. So I think this might, might be 10. So he gave us the money's worth. He, he wouldn't, he refused to take, to take the, the tip. Oh, that's so cute. man gave this to Chris, he explained before he tried to tip the ice cream man and the ice cream man wouldn't take the money so instead of take, so when Chris demanded for him to keep it as a tip, he gave him this um, in replacement of the money that he gave him so that he got he got something for his money and we just came to where, where we're having our dinner and I said and we asked the, the, the waitress do you know what this is? So what we've got is pitchy pitchy is what it's called and it's a dessert made from cassava cassava and sugar so yeah they grate cassava which I've never heard of before but apparently it's it's a shrub so it's grated cassava with sugar water and grated coconut into the restaurant that we're eating in we asked the waitress what it was and apparently the name for cassava what the two desserts that are similar one is made from sweet potato and one is made from cassava so she got them mixed up but this is grated cassava with sugar and water i imagine they boil it to make it sticky and then they grate coconut into it and this is this is the outcome which it's just the most strangest it's just I, I don't even know what to say about it it's just the strangest thing I've ever tasted it, it's not horrible it's not gorgeous it's just it's good if it's hot outside and you need to put your blood sugars back in that's for sure because it is very sweet I don't really like coconut um, so the actual jelly stuff without the coconut in it is, is a lot nicer by itself so I I just I don't know I just don't know how I feel about this it's just really oh, and it's, bad with it. it's really different to anything I've ever tasted I've literally never tasted anything like this in my life it's got like a the texture is like there is literally nothing I can compare this to <laughs> Can you think of anything? Yeah, the texture is like Turkish delight. Oh, I hate Turkish delight. That's what it, that's what it comes to my mind when I taste it a little bit. All right. I just don't know because I keep, all I can taste is the coconut really. We've mixed it up too much. We've mixed it in, in with the coconut a little bit too much. This is like the whole thing comes in a pot on a stick. I think you just meant to go for it like, I don't like it enough to do that. I keep looking for the little bits like there that hasn't got any coconut in it. Oh. And that bit, that, that bit of root right there. That's <laughs> <laughs> it's nice about That bit of tree root. Nice. That bit of root. I've climbed tree root now. I'm eating tree root. It's all about the root. It's nice by itself. I wouldn't put coconut in it. And I, I would probably eat it if it was just by itself. Can't take big chunks. You have to kind of like nibble away at it. To be fair though, look how much of it because this was full up to here when we got it. So I've had quite a bit of it. I think it's because I'm just like, oh my God, what is this thing that I'm eating? I just don't understand. We thought it was potatoes at first, but it's not. It's a tree root. So look at that bit there, no coconut. That's what I'm gonna nibble on now. Mm -hmm. So we've both got 
steak. Steak with some rice. fried rice today. It was boiled rice yesterday, it's fried rice today. And let me just tell you about the steak. You come to England, the steak is 80 peso, which is an absolute bargain. Granted, in England, you get a whole cut of steak and it's normally around 16 ounces, 18 ounces. This is just like chopped up bits of steak which is in some gorgeous sauce. It's 80 peso for this plate. It's on a hot plate. In England, you're paying around 16 pounds. What's that in peso? Mm, maybe like 1,200 peso. Just for the steak only, nothing else. And then if you got if you got this meal, this exact meal in England, that's gonna cost you around I think about a tenner. Yeah? It's around seven hundred peso. Maybe a little bit more. Seven thousand five hundred. Okay, thank you. I don't know. But it's delicious anyway and it's an absolute bargain, eighty peso. Can't go wrong. We got three. <laughs> Between two of them. Thank you. Bye. You're not done. Whoa. Ooh, she's whacked my head on the on small window. <laughs> See you now. Done. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god. Yeah, so. Our gaff, rancho. Back in our home sweet home. Our humble abode. Yes. We are back. We have to check out tomorrow. I think we're going to try and head to an island tomorrow. Hope the weather stays nice. It's meant to get nice tomorrow. It's been a good day. I'm enjoying it. I feel very round. <laughs> <laughs> you always say that. You don't scare him. He's under your butt crack. Oh, he's going into the pillow. Is it pillow? No, don't go in there! Tiny baby! Come on, just pick him up. I'm not picking him up. They bite, they fight. I've seen them fight.